It's got an impressive top speed of 34 miles an hour according to the company specs. The dual motor VMAX R55 Pro electric scooter claims to be made for adrenaline junkies. <laughs> so let's see if this thing's any fun or not. Sample for testing and exhibition. This one appears to have been used previously. Watch out for them staples, dude. Let's roll it out. It's got a pretty wide rubber deck. Here's what a size 14 shoe looks like on it. Nice little rubber thing on the back here for your back foot too. It's got 10 inch wheels. Looks like some sort of like hubcap deal here. Of course it folds in half. Here's the piece that locks it in place. Seems fairly sturdy. I feel secure with this one actually. Of course it is dual motor and it has mechanical disc brakes, which is honestly probably fine because there is regen brake on this. The tread on the tires is obviously meant for the street. Handlebars have ergonomic grips, mechanical disc brakes, little bell. I'll check this stuff out in a moment. Probably take this off before use. Man, this thing's like electrical tape. Thumb throttle with a little rubber pad is right here. And controls, more controls. I'll show you what a six foot five dude looks like on this. In general, I'd have to say the scooter seems more designed for a shorter person. Deck is definitely very wide. For my height, uh, I wish the handlebars were a little bit higher. And is there suspension on this thing? Suspension is pretty tight. Maybe it's some race car suspension, we'll see. The kickstand suspension might be better than the actual suspension on this thing. I'm not sure which one has more spring to it. The kickstand or the built-in suspension on the board. Scooter, not board. Current price of this scooter is this much, which you could count this out, or click the link in the description box to see the official price. Looks like those motors are designed to be robust and weatherproof. Official website does not make it clear what the battery size or the voltage is, or the charger size, or any of the specs. So let's see what we can find out. It does say the motors are dual 450 watt. Charger outputs 54.6 volts, meaning this is a 48 volt system. 48 volts nominal voltage. Charge rate will be two amps. Oh, here it is on the other side of the scooter. So battery is 48 volts, 18.2 amp hours, and the motors are in fact listed as dual 450 watts. Appears to be a turn signal here, same light on the rear. The power button as well as one of the charging ports is right here. Is that a power button? Try it on the other one. So if the 18.2 amp hour was completely dead and you charge it at a rate of two amps, 18 divided by two would take about nine hours to charge from empty to full. Fired up. Oh, there it goes. VMAX, time for e-quality. Is that what that said? Display is actually pretty crisp, man. Very clear font, 67%. So it tells us our charge up here in terms of percentage. Uh, cool, power output. So we can see exactly how much wattage we're getting. Power assist. Looks like there's some buttons here. Let's try them. So S brings it up to three. D brings it down. Interesting labels there, S and D. That's like more speed, D, dial it down. I don't know. Then there is a headlight button, although there is no headlight actually on it. Holding this light here appears to Oh, the headlights actually do turn on. They're on right now. They're just, they're not really super noticeable. Let's see if I turn them off. Yeah, I, I legit can't even like tell anything out of me if it's lit or not. But they do, in fact, work. And the back does have brake lights on both sides. Let's move a bit closer to the wall here. Off, on. So yeah, they, uh, they light up. Let's see what the settings does here. If we hold the settings button. So there are user settings, trip distance, background light, unit setting. All right, yeah, we'll get in there. Do that to miles. Speed limit setting. All right. What? Oh, 61.4 MPH, huh? And zero start setting. So this is whether you want push off or not. Either yes or no. So we'll say yes, zero start. Trip distance, clear. No. Oh, we'll turn the display up all the way. Oh, it already was. So let's spin it up. See what it can do. Oh, that's only one. On Three full blast. Showing 34.2 MPH. And I can feel that regen break. So let's charge it up and take it out. All right, dudes, let's take the VMAX R55 Pro out for a ride. We'll bring the manual so we can get through the menus, you know, adjust the settings if we need to. And of course, we'll track our official distance here on the Strava. So let's see how well this thing can do climbing the 20% grade. Have it on PAS3, I weigh 200 pounds from a stop here, full throttle, and it's showing 1,450 watts of power. 13, 1450, and it's pulling us up the hill. Was that on dual motor? Oh yeah, it is on dual motor. I see the front one. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Doze, I think I made a horrible mistake. I think I did like this whole review with this thing on single motor possibly. So there's these buttons down here you have to press and hold. 
if you hold the S, it'll bring it to single motor. And if you hold D, it brings it to D. And now on dual motor, let's try this 20% uh, grade with the dual motor. Uh, pedal assist three, ready, go. So now, yeah, dude, this thing, it pulls us right up to 20% grade, no problem at all. And the very first thing I'm really noticing about this scooter is the handlebar height is like really pretty low. And I am six foot five, so you know, I'm a little bit taller than the average person, but power delivery is smooth. I mean, it is 1500 watts peak and regen brake is really strong. Let's put this thing down to uh, PAS1 and see how this works. So full throttle PAS1 uh, gives us about a thousand watts of power and brings us up to about 12 miles an hour, 12.6 miles an hour. And under full throttle, let's go ahead and up it onto two hits us with 1400 watts brings us up to 17 18 19 22 23 miles an hour and yeah regen brake so this is mechanical disc brakes on this but you're probably not going to really utilize the actual mechanical component so much because that regen kicks in before you actually use the uh, friction pads gotta stop by and get the phone holder off the big boy toy which i ruined this thing gosh 10 percent battery it doesn't hold a charge anymore i let it completely die two thousand dollar mistake right there oh good thing i had my helmet on i just hit my head up there now we can verify the speed with the gps and on pas2 it does appear that the speedometer is pretty much correct showing 23 on gps and 23 on the dash man that regen brake it really uh it's like an on off switch it's pretty strong let's go ahead and try pas3 and that will give us 1400 watts 1400 watts and it's bringing us up to 25 26 actually let's get it out on the faster road but first can you see the screen through the polarized lenses oh yeah perfectly fine so good display full throttle so in general i'd say the power delivery on this scooter is pretty uh newbie friendly the brakes on the other hand uh you got to be a little careful because the regen brakes pretty strong and it's like an on off switch get out here a little bit next to this truck oh my goodness there's not much space at all right here so they're fast enough to get out here in traffic a little whoa buddy whoa buddy all right there's an oncoming cyclist there so we're not gonna be able to hit top speed here go down a hill a little bit full throttle says 30 on the dash 28 on my gps also has an ad says i can earn cash <laughs> whoa so there is full suspension on this electric scooter it's not like the most plush full suspension i've ever tried i can feel a lot of the vibrations coming up through the board definitely better than no suspension at all have you guys ever rode on those lime scooters that have no suspension my god those are harsh all right let's see if we can clock a little official zero to 20 acceleration full throttle ready go so yeah 1500 watts five ten fifteen twenty uh ready go so yeah front tire rips apart uh 20 and woo man this thing is way faster now so let's say you catch yourself a tail and get yourself an ideal circumstances let's do a top speed run full throttle 15 20 25 still pulling 1400 watts come on now don't pull out in front of me uh 29 29 on the gps 30 on the gps 32 on the onboard oh yeah dude this thing's got way more power now holy crap dude let's get a top speed run here uh -huh. so it looks like top speed is gonna be right about the same at in the 30s so we gotta chase that guy down and race it and oh my goodness look at this marine layer you see how clear it is right above me and then like right here on the ocean oh my goodness it's chilly over here we are about to be riding into a cloud man the temperature just dropped like 10 degrees regen regen dude the ocean is right there and you can't even see it so this thing does have an ipx rating of five i believe let's try and drive it through this puddle here <laughs> see how that affects things down the road anybody missing a bike or a hockey stick to give you a little bit of a size comparison here's what it looks like next to a typical vo scooter the vo actually has a little bit higher handlebars and it's getting angry at me we better get out of here oh my goodness dude she just got a flat tire that scared the crap out of me dude we are like on the pier and you still can't even see it really so the brakes are mechanical disc brakes and it is a motorcycle setup so the left one will pull the back brake opposite of most e-bikes that's good to know because you don't want to grab the front one too hard and send yourself over the handlebars however these are uh, not particularly strong 
brakes. Not necessarily a bad thing though, it just kind of makes it more newbie friendly so you're not going to you know lock them up and send yourself over the handlebars but uh, they definitely can bring you to a stop. The most notable thing about these brakes is the regen brake so you just pull that lever just a little bit does not even engage the actual physical friction pad and it will give you a little bit of regen i wouldn't really count on that you know charging your battery really so let's say you get yourself in a bit of a situation and you need to come to stop from about 20 pretty quickly remember to pull on the left lever for sure because that is going to be the back brake and whoa that's kind of fun yeah brakes work man bring it to stop most just the most notable thing about them is the uh regen brake is let's just get out here and rip around this is only on like 50 percent battery too so man this thing is uh I am sorry guys, but uh, the performance on this thing is considerably stronger than uh, my review indicates because I rode it on single motor and man, so the top speed, it probably hit a little bit faster if it weren't on like 50% battery. This thing might actually go beyond 35 miles an hour, probably not by a whole lot. Um, but man, this thing is a bit of a speed demon now. <laughs> All the handling characteristics, the brakes and stuff, that stuff's all the same. You know, the handlebars, uh, I wish they were a little bit higher. Although, you know, you can put your weight kind of down on the handlebars and kind of use it as like, you know, something to kind of lean on and get a little more traction down that front tire leaning forward. Woo! Skrrr! <laughs> oh man, yeah, this thing, this thing's got the juice now, dude. 2,000 watts is showing there. Man, this thing, 1,500 watts. Wow, this thing's pretty fun now. Let's see what the, the peak power is there. Go. Yeah, 2,600, I think I saw about 2,600 watts. So this thing will peak out. Yeah, about over 2,600 watts. Let's give it one more rip up the 20% grade on PAS3 dual motor. Ready, go. So yeah, it's, it's having a hard time maintaining traction and we're hitting 14 miles an hour. We get almost a little bit of air coming out of here. So yeah, this thing's got the juice, dude. All right, dude, just rolling back into the neighborhood here. Rolling up on 18.8, almost 19 miles, hour and a half of ride time. And we are showing 38%, 39% on the battery, 40%. So realistically, uh, you know, I'd probably get about 30 miles mashing on pedal assist three as a 200 pound dude on this scooter. If you do want to grab one, click that link below the video in the description box. Check out the company website, buy through that link. However, if this is not the kind of scooter you're looking for, watch this video next. Catch you over there.